Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Gloppy here. Um, I wanted to do a little short video just kind of explaining. Um, just like where most of my videos, not most of them, but some of my videos, I think it was about five or six of them that didn't make it into my full Final Fantasy playthrough. It kind of. I enjoy doing 100% playthroughs and. Uh, it was something I was looking forward to having this Final Fantasy as complete and uh, some of them basically what happened is I had two or three days worth of footage that was recorded and uh, I don't know if I deleted them thinking they were something else or they just didn't record properly but um, anyway these videos didn't make it into the full playthrough and uh, it starts with um, I left off on the Crescent Island I did two Crescent Island grind sessions you know before I headed into the ice cave and uh, the ice cave is where uh, my missing videos started so you're missing out on the ice cave, which is really important. Uh, the ice cave is considered to be one of the toughest dungeons in the game for the original version of Final Fantasy. And uh, so I'm a little upset about that. Um, I had a bit of a rough time with it at first. It took me, I think I died once in there, which wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. But um, I didn't get to have that in there, which is too bad. But anyway, after the float stone, um, I ran to the airship, or ran to the desert above and got the airship. Uh, flew around in the airship a little bit, um, found the land of dragons, went and talked to Bahamut, and um, then proceeded to the Temple of Trials. And Temple of Trials went well. Um, got 100% of the treasure first time through, which was nice. Uh, proceeded back to Bahamut. Um, got the job upgrades, which is another thing I'm a little upset about not having. Uh, job upgrades, you know, uh, knight, ninja, white mage, and, um, red wizard. Well, white wizard, I guess I should say. And then after that, I proceeded to Gulg, and, uh, just totally beat the shit out of that place. And then afterwards did a little bit of flying around trying to figure out where to go for the next uh, dungeon and the next dungeon was the Sunken Shrine. And uh, Sunken Shrine went pretty well and I somehow lost the recording of the, uh, the first run through of the Sunken Shrine that uh, Included the boss, went all the way up the left side first. Should have gone down the right, but I didn't really, I didn't know that at the time. So I think that's where my next recording starts. And uh, the next recording will be the Sunken Shrine Part 2, which is basically raiding for the remaining remainder of the treasure that I missed the first time around. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. I just wanted to make a video just kind of explaining that. It's too bad that they were missing, but um, I plan on doing another playthrough of it sometime in the future. It may be the PSP anniversary version, I'm not really sure. But um, I'll definitely play that game again. I didn't really like it so much at first, but once I hit the job upgrades, I think the game really opened up and really started to have a lot more fun with it. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thanks for watching, and, uh, see you again. Later.